Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm John, I'm founder of this VSGR group. Um, for you who are new, you can you can know, you check it out in the descriptions to know more about me. But here you go, let's get, let me give you the value. Today we're going to talk about how you can select the right digital media agency who can work with you and can do the right empowerment to take your product as a healthcare service provider to the right branding. Today, not only one, two, today I'm going to give you a total 10 criteria which you can significantly use very smartly to, to select the right digital media agency or, or provide a service provider to work with you so you, your initiative, your idea and your dream can become successful. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. Number one, the content marketing. So look at the what kind of content they have developed. Does they have different kind of other similar kind of product in terms of content development? Is it the content development experiences about, about related a product or they really did a genuine content development which is about giving values? So pay attention into this two capability. They look at the what kind of other kind of projects they have delivered. If they have developed something rather than, rather than not doing it around the product but actually genuinely giving values to your audience, that's a great win. You should be considering an agency who does directly well rather than just content marketing. Number two, medical expert. What kind of medical expert do we have? What kind of doctors they have? What kind of nurse they have? Because you, they will, you will be needing them into their organizations to develop the general the content because your organization may have a doctor, nurse, dentist, but as they are very occupied about the work and they are not used to it, so probably they will not be able to help you much in, in content development. But on the other side, in the agency side, what they're bringing with them is really crucial because that will help them um, to, to develop the right content. So you're going to ask them what kind of doctor, nurse, dentist they have in their team so they can generate and build the right content for you. Number three, regulation in healthcare. You also need to check out your agency knows how well about the healthcare regulations, how kind of leadership peoples they have and what kind of experience they have on in healthcare. So there they will be knowing very much about up-to-date knowledge about the health healthcare providers and, and government and policies. So those are really important to generate your right content. Otherwise, your content can be goes in the wrong direction. Number four, the pharmacist. You also need to know that as, as you are delivering different kind of product, particularly in healthcare, even you are in pharmaceutical company or you are in medical device companies or your dentals, your products will often relate to different kind of uh, medical medicines as well too. So you also need also pharmaceutical capability in your in digital marketing agency. You look around what kind of pharmaceutical uh, team they have, what kind of experience they have into team, because that will really help them to build the right content and so they can bring you the right contents for your success. Number six, translation. Look at the, the translation quality project. They need to have a really good translation project because they will not be just generating content. They will be doing a lot of translation because they need to look at for all kind of great authentic sources like who, CDC, they will see those kinds of great content and they need to translate in the right manner with the right reading experience and, and putting on your content to bring out your audience. Otherwise, it will not be right so there and it will not be reading friendly as well too so you got to be make sure that they have the right translation ability number seven the source of content i just mentioned about it what kind of source of content they're going to use what kind, what is the reputation of the source of content you really need to pay attention about it and you probably need to dictate it what kind of and also get their advices as well if they're expert enough what are the source they will be selected and why they are choosing those sources number eight quality control process when you would get any part of agents to work with them, ask them what kind of quality control process they have so that your content will be reviewed and infographic will be reviewed so make sure that it's been well correct and well positioned before it goes to viewers or to readers so it will be easily double check, triple check or the really good content uh, control process need to be in place so you should be asking what kind of quality control process they have for their content distribution. Number nine, the KOL. They also need to have a part of the KOL. You should be asking them what kind of key KOL they have. What is the KOL strength and, and, and how the KOL will help them to build this service to provide to you. So that means when you are delivering particular projects and working with them and bringing particular contents to your audience, when there is a KOL on the back, so that will really help you to bring that uh, right settings of your projects to 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 your audience so your content your your initiative of digital media 
you always get a better chance of being successful if there's a KOL in the back. Number 10, professionalism. Measure their level of profession, how professional they are, how professionally they interact with the email, how professionally they, they join the meeting with you, how professional is the leadership team, and just this, this 10 tips as well too. And here's the point. You are considering to get a digital marketing agency and today I just give you 10 tips so you can pick the right partner to work with you and make your digital brand and digital initiative become a big success. If you are having any questions about on these 10 po points, go ahead and comment below. I'd love to give you an answer. At the same time, if you are executing a digital marketing initiative for your company, for your initiative or for your projects, any kind of suggestion, advice you need, any kind of questions you have, challenge you are facing, go ahead and comment below. Love to give you an advice. And here we go. You are deciding to go to digital media to be one of your tools to become your digital a business which is in for healthcare pro as a healthcare service provider it will be great because you can bring up your care and product and services in healthcare for more people so more people will be will be able to have a better health by having your product and services so here you go all the best and i'm looking forward to hear from you soon